Tomatoes are now grown in nearly every region, including Africa, North America, China, and the rest of Asia. Most households use these vegetables to cook and make food tasty. Tomatoes are one of the world's most consumed vegetable crops according to statistics from the Food and Agriculture Organization, around 378.267 billion pounds, 189.133 million tons, of fresh and processed tomatoes were produced globally in 2021, FAO 2023. The world production of tomatoes has consistently increased since 2010, growing more than 23.18% from 2010 to 2021, FAO 2023. In the United States, approximately 20.95 billion pounds. 47 million tons of tomatoes were produced in 2021, about 8% of the total production was fresh tomatoes, which have much higher prices than processed tomatoes. Except in the last decade, 2010 to 2019, the increase is above 40%. One reason for drop in the last decade is due to extreme temperatures and climate change. In 2021, California Tomatoes for Processing Farms received $16.068 million indemnity payments from the Federal Crop Insurance Corporation Program, FCIP. The major losses include heat, $14.647 million, cold wet weather, $421K, and frost, $416,000. 2021 was a terrible season for the tomato industry. Heat has contributed to losses of $14.647 million. U.S. production 40, 41, a proxy for the world production, of processing tomato was 11.31 million tons in 2020, which compared 2021, 10.77 million tons, are down, by about 4.75%. Compared to last year, 2021, volume last year was 4.8 million tons. In California, it's really tough to grow tomato crops right now. On one side you have the drought impacting costs because you don't have enough water to grow all your acres, and then you have the farm inflation side of it with fuel and fertilizer costs shooting up. Using Hanumayama Specialty Crop Analytics, you can take care one factor, risk of revenues in changing economic and climate conditions. In the above price forecast models, the black dots represent historical data. As above, what if models clearly have shown that the crop failures due to climate change is more pronounced and would have debilitating impact on the food security and farmers' financial sustainability?